Ah, <sighs> well, great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Oh no, what do we do? Please don't cry! I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... <sighs> Embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. A few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. Huh. <laughs> That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. We believe you. Shilonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. He thinks of you as his granny, right? Yes, but Auroran's a special case. Mawika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroran and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Auroran's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just... left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The Masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroran's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroran into a vessel for lost souls. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroran would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift. Unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroran, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears? And now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroran escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? 
By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But, just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved? If the ceremony succeeded? Wait! Wait! It's not his fault! He knows that. But he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls. More than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back! I... Uh, you don't look so good, Seat Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, forget that. I need to go home. <laughs> I hit it a little too hard. Ah, uh, You've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Ah, uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Auroran's probably back with the captain, don't you think? You mean about the backup plan? Do you really believe what the captain told us? Yeah, you're right. We should just go to her directly. But she's probably asleep. We can find her first thing in the morning. <laughs> 